Hi, welcome to the Better Golf Club. I'm Daryl Kessner, and I want to talk to you today about one of the most stressful shots in golf, the driver off number one. You know that if you can get a good drive off number one, get it in the fairway, be able to knock it on the green, make a good solid par, you're off to a good round, a nice fun day. But usually you have a game with your foursome. The putting green is right near the first tee. There's people on it. It's crowded. There's a lot of groups waiting to go off. You think all eyes are upon you. You're putting unnecessary pressure and tension on this shot that you need to, need to be having. So then all of a sudden you get quick. You tighten up. You're thinking about the outcome versus the fundamentals. And next thing you know, you pick it up, you get quick with it, you tighten up, and boom, you hit a big slice into the woods, you make double bogey, and ruin your day because you're fighting that from there on out. Well, I'm here to say that if you have good fundamentals with the driver, you're able to hit it solidly and down the middle, it can make the game of golf so much easier. Now, let me talk to you about the driver itself. There's good points and bad points about the driver. Some of the bad points are, the driver has the least amount of loft of any club in your bag. Well, when you have less loft, what you re don't realize is you have less backspin. Less backspin means more side spin. Two things cause spin. The path of the golf club will cause the ball to spin, and also the face angle. If you cut the ball in half to on your intended line, this is the outside of it, this is the inside of it. If you slice the ball, the ball, the club is coming from the outside of the golf ball across it to the inside, making the ball curve as it slides across it, imparting the clockwise spin to the right. If the path is from inside out, everyone has their natural tendencies, and if yours is inside out, the ball will roll inward on the face counterclockwise and tend to make the ball draw to the left. But here's the catch, the club face at impact. Club face will usually override path. If the face is open at the moment of impact, and it's open quite a lot, no matter what path you have, the ball will slide off the face and curve dramatically to the right. Conversely, if the face is closed, the ball will slide in and curve to the left. How you, your face is at impact is directly related to where that ball is going to go. You got to remember, the ball does not know who's hitting it. This club face is on that ball one millisecond, one one hundred thousandths of a second, and in that time, it's going to tell that ball what to do. Now that I talked about the bad points about the driver, let's talk about the good points. Good points being, if you're down, the hole is downwind, you can tee the ball higher, trying to get a higher trajectory on this golf ball, lifting in there and letting the wind carry it. It's against a strong wind. Now tee it down lower, trying to drive it through the wind like that. Those are, these are a couple of advantages that you, with ball in hand, you never have a bad lie. So also, under the rules of golf, you have a tee box. And a, the tee box is a rectangle where the, the line goes from one tee marker to the next, two club links back, and are then across, forming a perfect rectangle. If your natural shot trajectory is a fade, you would want to go over to the, to the right side of the tee, which is going to give you more room down the left side to start the ball. Start it down the left side and then let your natural tendency of the fade to uh, go back into the fairway. That way you're using the whole fairway. Conversely, if you draw the ball a lot and that's your tendency, you can go over to the right side. And as long as the ball is teed up inside the box, you don't have to stand inside the box but under the rules of golf. As long as the, as the ball is there, now you're having a lot more room to the right to start the ball and then draw it using the whole fairway again to shape the ball in, into the fairway. So it, by knowing this rule, you can have a little bit more of an advantage in your favor and, and slight little adjustments make big differences in this game.
Okay, so let's talk about the fundamentals of the golf swing with the driver. What you need to know is the driver is unlike any other club in the bag. The driver itself, the, at the moment of impact, the ball is struck on the upward blow. The golf club is sweeping along the ground and because the ball is farther forward and the stance is wider than any other club, you will hit the ball on the upward trend accelerating through into your finish. It is not allowed. We do not take divots with drivers. We do not hit down upon the ball taking a divot with the driver. Not allowed. Okay, so now let's go on to the setup. The setup, the ball position is in the left heel, the left instep, the left toe, somewhere around this area, well forward of center. The longest club in the ball uh, in the bag is the driver, so the stance is wider. So we take a nice wide stance, just slightly wider in our hips. The ball, you can see, is addressed in my instep right there. Because my triangle is hanging down in front of me, you can see that my hands are literally behind the golf ball. The great drivers of the golf ball have their hands behind. This will ensure a blow that comes up through the ball picking the ball off the tee, sending it down the fairway. That is the nature of the setup. You are square to the target line. If you're wanting to hit a straight shot, ball is in the instep, triangle down in front of you, head is well behind the ball, vertical line would put the ball possibly, probably in the shoulder socket. That puts your head well behind the golf ball. We do not want to lean over to reach the ball. Don't want to feel way back in the hands forward. That's going to get us out of balance and cause some serious problems that we'll go over later. So we want to feel balanced, head well behind, hands behind, ball in the end step. That is our setup, looking down the fairway. From this position right here, it is critical to have good rhythm and timing in this takeaway. It is your best friend in this swing because it is your biggest arc we want to have a low, slow sweeping of the club head away along the turf that will give us maximum arc, creating a big wide turn totally coiled behind this golf ball. And if we're coiled behind the golf ball, winding our upper body against a good stable base, you can see in this takeaway, I have kept my right knee flex. If my right knee flex loses, I will tend to tilt and pick the club up dramatically. So I want to keep my right knee flexed. I want to allow my right hip to turn behind me, my triangle to get extended. You can see that because my right arm is above my left arm from this angle, the club is on a nice path. If it were not rolled, you can see my right elbow stand on my side, rolling the club face away, bad move. We want to feel the club hit a low, slow, sweeping arc, coiling our shoulders, turning our shoulders 90 degrees, keeping our radius of our arms, the left arm extended, our hands away from our head. If our hands come close to my ear and break down, the dreaded overswing, collapse of my left elbow, pulling my right arm in, the dreaded overswing, which will cause us to throw the club, have bad transition from the top of the swing. You gotta realize that if impact is the most important time of the swing, the top of the backswing is the second most critical time. At this point, we want to gather ourselves calmly, quietly in a good transition of going back into the forward side. You can see my first move is a, a shift of my body weight going from backside to forward side, simultaneously allowing my arms and club to drop to the inside, gather myself into this hitting area, and from here I accelerate into my finish. It is critical for maximum distance that we accelerate from ball to finish, not from top of swing to ball. Because if we do that, we spend our energy too soon, we literally decelerate, creating a shorter distance that we're going to hit the golf ball instead of accelerating through it. If we accelerate, you can see that I have created a lot of extension in my arms. My head is back. I am unwinding my body into this full finish where I finish balanced with my head over top of my left side and I can tap my back toe on the ground in a good balance. 
That is the whole meat and potatoes of this golf swing with the driver. It is critical that you set up clearly, parallel to the target line, good ball position, a calm, low, slow, sweeping takeaway, so we get behind it, and at this point, accelerating through, hitting up on the ball, accelerating into our finish for maximum distance and accuracy. So just as in any aspect of the game of golf, the better the fundamentals are, the better the golfer is. So by working on these fundamentals that we talked about today with the driver, the ball position, the stance, posture, this takeaway, long, slow, rhythmic, calm transition, quiet in your ch change of direction, and accelerating through the ball into a good balanced finish, you can become a better driver of the golf ball and this game can get easier for you. So on behalf of Better Golf Club, I'm Daryl Kessner.